by the power of Grayskull. All right, what's up, everybody? Look, this is the Lamzu Focus. There we go. The Lamzu Atlantis OG version 2. And before I get into it, uh, this is the version 2 part. Okay, so this right here, this used to have like this little bubbly looking cutesy butterfly wing thing. It wasn't stable, apparently, so they replaced it with this piece of plastic that goes all the way across and it does fit up an, an extra foot that goes here and here uh so i don't know why they put these little ones on here but it, it works fine the other thing is that they cut off some of the um if you can see this little clear plastic coating that goes around the usb c port that came out a little bit further and i guess it was harder to use different cables or any cable for that matter. It's kind of ridiculous, but they fixed that to make this guy. Now, this is, I love this mouse. I really do. I, I've, I've used this every day since I got it. The texture is a satin, what I call satin. They don't call it satin. I don't know what they call it, but it's, it's, it's not abrasive. It's not overdone, and it's also not, um, and it's not glossy, you know, so it's just right there in the middle. And for me, it, it's perfect. You can kind of hear it. See, it's not, you know, you're not going to sand down an old boat with, like you can the, the death adder version three, but, um, it's really nice. I don't know if you can catch that texture on my camera, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Now, Let's start with the side buttons. Side buttons are they're buttons, and they're on the side, and they're they're functional. Not really much to say about them, other than they are in a really good position. I think they're in a really nice spot, well placed. The left and right button are very flat for different sty grip styles or posture styles, as I like to call them. That's, that's a me thing, and and then the wheel is near perfect. The tension is perfect. The The button is easy to push, but not too easy. And this is the button sound. I like that. You're kind of hearing that little bit of a hollow or empty from the length of the buttons. But that's what gives it the feel. They're very responsive. Very nice. Now... On the bottom, of course, we just looked at that, but you've got PFTTTT feet right there. And it does come with replacements. It's also got a 26,000 limit PixArt 3395 sensor, which is the updated sensor. You have an LED for power, and then you have a button right here for your DPI. So that comes on, and then you can change your DPI and change its color. I only have two right now. I'll turn that off so I don't mess anything up. So the buttons, the feet, make it very glidy, very nice to use. And let's talk about the shape. Now, it's it's very flat in the front. And I think it's it's like a, a, a Pixar, not a Pixar. <laughs> I was thinking about Pixar. The Pulsar is a similar shape. Uh, but you can see that it's got this hump right here, which I like. It kind of comes up a little bit and like, eh, yeah, let's start going down right here. So it's very comfortable shape. It gives for me having that extra um, area right here in the palm. Um, it gives me extra control. Also picks your hand up off of the mouse pad, which I'll demonstrate why that's crappy in a second. Ah, that stuff off of there. And also, with this shape on the sides, you can see that this kind of slants downward on the, on the sides here. See that? 
So, of course, when you are using it, picking it up is a lot easier without the use of, you know, grip tape. Which is fine. Grip tape is fine. I, I just, I think a mouse should work f fine without grip tape. Grip tape should just be an option. Speaking of grip tape, this does come with grip tape, and it is black for a white mouse. Again, I don't know why companies do that. If it's white, it's in white tape. If it's black, this is a nice design. I like this. I like the white against the blue. They do have a black version, but I I wanted this version. Um, and I don't want to put black tape on it to make it not look like this version. Just simple. Anyway, I probably won't be using it. Anywho, and also this one has, this is, I guess, just an imperfection or something, but this has something on it. It looks like it got bit. I don't know, something in shipping or maybe it's just a heat. I don't know what it is. It looks like mold. If this was anywhere else, it would just really like bug the crap out of me, but it's right there. I don't see it. It's not a big deal, but, you know. Yours may vary. I don't know. So the feel of this, the texture, the buttons, the shape, overall feel is just, it's great. I mean, I, I can't tell you how much I like this enough. Um, just putting your hand on it and moving it around just feels amazing. Amazing. Excellent mouse. Now, if you want to kind of compare it to, say, the... Razer Viper, which this is an older model and it's a cheaper model. Uh, I, I I don't have the latest version, so it, it's probably going to be a little bit different. But if you put these together, you can kind of see that it doesn't have that scooped downward. It just it's just a it's just a dome basically for the Viper, um, which I'm not a big fan of. But you can also see right here. I'll put them side by side for a second so you can freeze frame and take measurements, whatever you want to do. So, yeah. A little comparison. And for another comparison, if you have... Good grief, man. What is with this mouse pad? If you have this guy, which is a little harder to see. I usually have gray when I do a black mouse. But um, this is the obviously the Logitech Superlight, hence the... Uh, and then this is a comparison. I'm going to put my hand on it so you can see a little bit better. But a similar style, but not quite. The It doesn't have, you know, the Superlight still has kind of like a gerbil looking feel to it. You know, it's just kind of bloop. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's just, uh, I, I think I actually prefer this. So if you have a Superlight, and you're thinking, hey, what is, what I'm thinking about maybe getting something a little better than this, then look at this one. Um, I don't like my super light. I didn't, it was not my favorite mouse, but I like it a little bit less now. So, but yeah, it's so nice to use. I like it. I'll give you another look at the, the bottom there. As you can see, they, they basically gutted it. There's nothing in there. <laughs> I don't know if there's a battery. I mean, it works, but where is it? You can't even feel it. Anyway, let's take a look at the software. That is where it usually, you know, kind of goes in the toilet. But not this one. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so here is the software. Let me turn the mouse on so it, it'll register. And then you see the bottom right here and everything. It's pretty standard stuff. I mean, if you've used software for mice, this is, this is what you're getting. But you have this debounce, which is, I don't see that a lot. And I'm guessing that's your pickup. Um, I may have to look that up because it's, you know, it would be nice that I actually sound like I know what I'm talking about. But I haven't seen that before. Um, here you've got your DPI settings. And I used to use 1300, and some people have convinced me that that's, that's ridiculous. Just go to 800 and 400, so that's what I use. Pulling rate does go to 1000. Um, here's your lift. I'm sorry. It's one millimeter, two millimeter. 
uh, your ripple control, angle snapping. I leave these off. I don't really see that a big enough difference for those. Um, and then here's your battery. Uh, I haven't charged this since I've gotten it. So we're at 30%. I've had this for over a week. Um, and then, of course, you've got your macros. You can record it, modify it, delete it. I mean, normal stuff. If you if you play Dota or maybe WoW, you have some macros and key lists and stuff like that. Awesome. If if you're me, you know, that just plays mostly first person shooters and RPGs, and you know, you don't really need that. But that's the software. Very plain, very basic. Obviously, here is your buttons. Easy to read. There's your layout. It tells you what each button does. HyperX. You should take a little note there. Uh, under settings, you just have the, the, the driver release, which is 1.0, which is scary in a way, but the drivers work great. So if it's 1.0 and it works great, then, you know, they're doing something right. So I like this software. Uh, it's just, you set your mouse up and you close it and you forget it. You can actually, you know, it's running down at the bottom, but you can close it and it's not dependent on the mouse at all. So yeah, I like that as well. Once again, thanks for watching, and I've got some more stuff coming up. So please subscribe, please hit that like, and hit that bell. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.